Okay, everyone. So, thank you for joining me in this last frame of this match. Now, will I bring it back to two all, or will Darren take this match three one? Let's watch this and find out. Now, this uh, last frame went on for quite a considerable amount of time, so there's going to be a couple of points here where I uh, skip out a number of shots just to try and get the uh, viewing time down a little bit to make it slightly more manageable. Now a chance here, thin red to the middle. <clears throat> Not thin enough though. But where it is, have I left it or has the red? Gone far enough away from the pocket. Oh, only just. But I fear that if the red had gone in, the cube would have done the same for Darren as he missed it thick and then hit the top cushion jaw. So just a safety from me. And I'm guessing the same from Darren here. This is going to be quite awkward here to find a line back. Yes, a little bit unfortunate there. I mean, I was quite happy with the pot, but didn't manage to get round the bunch back up for the blue. So just a safety shot, and with the way the balls were, that was actually the only line that I had. So I was always going to cannon into the blue, unfortunately. Which does mean that I'd left Darren that. Easy starter, but the white has probably not gone in the place where he was hoping for. So again, just rolling it up the table, making my life a bit difficult. So there we go, there's the, <clears throat> the first part where I've taken out a few shots. Just a few nothing safeties really, just a little bit of back and forth. And there we go, I had that opportunity at a long pot not far away but ultimately didn't go in and that one was very very tight so nicely dropped in now, how's he going to get on to the next red from this ball no nope. brown's not gone in so he's not left me too many options other than just a safety slash snooker on this shot. But I haven't gone in far enough behind the blue, so not a snooker, unfortunately. And Darren hasn't left me a great deal to ever go at. Um, a half chance at this double but I could also at the same time get the white safe I say double stroke treble but that was laughable <laughs> so I would think Darren's going to knock this one in and in doing so this black should come towards this corner pocket let's see if he's judged it correctly and he has Probably the right way to play that shot actually. At least he's left himself a chance at this next red to the middle. Just not quite gone his way and the cue ball was very very close as well there. Now with me being 35 points behind, uh, the reason why I played the safety shot in the way that I did there was because I wanted to release the black from that other red so if I do get a scoring opportunity what with blue near the side cushion pink sort of tied up and the brown well very much tied up um, yes I just wanted to give myself some options and thankfully 
My safety shot was also a snooker. Shouldn't be too difficult to get out of. But getting it safe was always going to be the problem. And in taking this red, hopefully the white will drift on and off the side cushion and then go down somewhere towards the black and leave me a shot on it. That needs to slow down. And it's now very awkward. I was hoping for a much easier shot on this so I could then remove the red from near the black spots. <coughs> Excuse me, yes. That one was a little bit challenging. Now, you would say that the black is unmissable, so whoever pots the next red is hopefully going to score a few points. Now, I haven't hit that one very well at all because I've got to use a spider. I was hoping to get down near the black spot in uh, open water, so to speak, so I could have got my hand on the table. But at least the black's got in now. Again, I haven't played that one particularly well. I think if, if I'd have potted that red, I would have slid past the black and not made contact with it. But I hit it too thin, so I, so I did hit the black. Now, does this black go from where it is? It looks like it might do. Not quite. Maybe airing on the side of caution there was, was Darren. There's a chance this red, even if I overcut this one, it should hopefully go in off the black. But somehow I've managed to pop that clean, which um, confused me at the time because normally I miss those thin by a good ball, ball and a half. So I'm happy with that. Now, oh, as, don't tell me I've over screwed that one. No, no, that's okay. And that red on the other hand was not my best effort. Just off the cushion. Oh, apologies there. I'm sure I uh, apologised to Darren for that one because that was it's a very big fluke. Now, can I drop this brown in? If I can, I might be on the red to the middle. Just overcut it. So things not quite going my way at the moment. But there are still plenty of points available. with that one. Or at least the pot I was uh, trying to back up the table I have to say. Now this shot, Darren hasn't left me a great deal to work with, so what I really want to do is not that. I was hoping, <laughs> I was trying to hit that much thinner to just leave the white on the side cushion and not move the red too much. But I failed miserably, left the pot on. Darren didn't take advantage of that one, so I'm going to lay this snooker. 
and have ended up with a touching ball as well. So that's a stroke of luck. This is very, very difficult to get out of and get safe. He's made contact with the black first now. I knew the black's gone in, not that matters too much. Um, but after a bit of deliberation, and only because I've got the camera on this, I've uh, decided to put him back in because we can get the balls pretty much in the right place. Uh, if I wasn't recording, then I would have just taken, uh, taken the seven points and played it from where it was. Yes, we reviewed the footage. Anyway, attempt number two. Bit of an over adjustment. Now, somewhere in the middle. And he will make contact with the red. Who's this one? Uh, not quite enough of an adjustment, but that's his third attempt at it. Uh, it was a particularly difficult one, I think, to get out of and get safe. You might think that was a bit ambitious trying to knock it in at that pace, but if I'd have just rolled it, I wouldn't have been on the black at all. Whereas now I have a chance at this red to the left middle. Now just don't hit this one too hard, and it should leave me on a colour. Believe it or not, I think. I was hitting that soft enough to potentially stay on either yellow or brown, but white's come careering back down the table. So pink it is. And a very, very fortuitous kiss on the black there. And the balls are quite close together, so I don't want to play a push shot. <laughs> Uh oh, has that one got the legs? Oh, it's not got the legs, <clears throat> and it also hasn't got the direction. So that wasn't a particularly good shot, the one before was, but that was um, not so good. So the scores are tied with three reds left on the table. And three, very, very possible. Green is. Not very nice. Up there, the other side of the blue. Yeah, good uh, pop there with the rest. Didn't quite get the cannon I think he was hoping for. Where's this red going to go? He's going for the yellow pocket. That's a great shot, that is. Sunk that one beautifully. That yellow proved a little bit too tricky. Now, pop this red and I should be able to make contact with green. The green and the blue away from the cushion, but oh no! Somehow, I've, yeah, just saying to Darren there about that, but somehow I've managed to miss the green and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, end up down here on a thin black, which eludes me, unfortunately. Difficult yellow, a bit of a thin one. Missed it the correct way as I've sent it down towards the black. And a pretty solid safety shot there from Darren. Now, what can I do from this position? I was hoping to leave the yellow somewhere up behind the green 
or as into making contact with it. But at least I've got a good cue ball. Black with my leg, and again, just trying to get in behind the green on that one. Not happening though. Down, trying to get the pink in the way, it's not far away. And I might as well have an attempt at this long yellow and well I don't think I don't think Darren could have seen that one happening that is very unfortunate knocking the brown in off of that one difficult queuing for this yellow rest there. Now, is that going to slow up enough for him to be on the green? Yes, it is. And the green's away from the cushion, so this is gettable. To bring him within three points of... No, to take him six points in front, he would have been. And he's, uh, <laughs> he's managed to get the snooker. Just see if I can judge this one correctly and knock the green somewhere safe. But I haven't hit it far enough up the cushion. And with it passing the blue into the middle pocket, I don't think Darren's going to put me back in uh, to try and replay the snooker. This one in that will. Ah, oh. see yes, if he just drop that one in. Right. And I've just said to Darren, go big or go home with this one. <laughs> Very happy with the way that one's worked out. Very, very difficult brown from the jaws of the corner pocket into the middle. And that, I think, was another fairly decent shot. That takes me within a few points of Darren. So I still need the pink. That blue is no gimme. That was a bit thinner than it looked. So... I'm now two points in front, so I guess it's, well, it is really just a, a race to pot the pink. If I pot the pink, I take the fourth and final frame for a two-all draw. If I miss it, Darren gets a chance, but in it goes. And just because I might as well knock this black in. So there we go, another thoroughly enjoyable match between uh, myself and Darren. It's always close when we when we uh, play. Uh, we both played some very good shots, a few poor ones, but on the whole, that was pretty good, I thought. Um, I hope you enjoyed that match, and I've got another couple of games lined up for your viewing pleasure. But thank you very much for listening to me waffle over these four frames. And I will see you very, very soon with my next video. But for now, everyone, as always, take care.